Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to create and edit email templates in your Zoho CRM system. Once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course, you'll come to the home screen. From here, you wanna to go to the cog in the top right-hand corner. Uh, you will need administrative permissions to do this. Uh, press the cog, and then we wanna to go to customization, and then to templates. So we'll go to templates, and when we come to templates, we'll see all of the active email templates inside of the Zoho CRM system. Um, and we see them all here, and then we can uh, choose between uh, different folders. So the templates that have been created by me, shared with me, all the public email templates, etc. If you want to edit a template, all you need to do is hover over that particular template and then press the pencil mark to the right of the name and then just click it and then it will take you to the editing page where you can go about editing as you so wish. Um, if we go back and discard those changes, um, I'm also gonna show you how to create a new template. So what you need to do is press the new template button, the blue blue button on, on the left here. And if you select that, you then need to select the module that the email template is for. And um, this can be any module inside the CRM system. In this instance, I'm going to use the contacts module. So we press contacts and then press next. And then we've got basically three options. We we can either use a partly designed or pre-configured um, design package from Zoho CRM. And we've got celebration, invitation, follow up, product promotion and notification types. So I'll just quickly scroll through those to demonstrate. Um, we can also insert HTML or plain text directly in. Um, so if you've already got some pre-made templates you'd just like to copy and paste in, you can do that as well. And that button is at the top right here. The final option is to just start from a basic blank page. Um, in this tutorial, that is what we're going to do. And then you can spend as much time as you like making it look as good as you wish. So just press the select button over the basic blank page. Um, now this will all load up um, obviously this is going to be our template as we edit it but firstly we need to give the template a name so i'm going to call this contact uh, added okay and the name is for internal use only however if you enter template subject that subject is going to be used as the email subject so make sure you put something that's applicable and sensible um, contact, I'm just going to call this contact added again. Uh, there we go. Wonderful. And then from here, we can add different components to our email template. And the, these components are really good, really useful. So we can just add text like here. As you can see, we could add an image if we wanted to, or multiple images in a row. Um, and then just add, we, all you do is select, and then they just get added directly on. Um, we could also add spaces, so if we want to make a gap between an image and the text, for example, I'll quickly show you. Um, and then you can just drag and increase and decrease the size of the spacer. There you go, so we've got a space between the text and we can make that space smaller if we so wish. Um, we have image and text, which is very similar to image and image. It's just two, uh, the image and the text sat next to one another. Uh, as you can see, you've got the different layouts here. Uh, we've got a button. Now these buttons are really good as they can obviously take the um, the recipient of the email uh, to your website or to a sign up link. Um, if you drag and drop one on, it will ask you to give the button a name and then provide a web URL and then the, the link to that URL. Uh, you can also add columns. So essentially like the photos, but just for text uh, or, or for text as well so as an example it would look like this and then you've got your three columns there uh, you've got a table and this is very similar to like a basic excel spreadsheet table uh, it just looks like this and you can obviously fill that out as you wish and then you've got the background and you can change the inner color the outer color and the outer theme of the email template as well which is really useful um, so you've got a lot of customization capacity here um, you've obviously got all the tools up here uh, like you would see in Word uh, or Google Docs to make changes. Another really cool feature 
is you're able to insert uh, fields into the into the te email template and all you need to do to do this is use the hashtag so if you press hashtag and then you can select the module that you'd like to choose the fields from and then obviously select the fields as well and obviously given the Zoho CRM relationship behavior you any uh, accounts that's related to that would be added so it's you know that's a really really useful feature uh, and allows you to make your emails far more personable now you can also add attachments to your email templates so if you see up here press attachments it will show you all your documents um, from your computer and then you can add an attachment so this would be really useful if someone signed up and to something and you need to send them a contract for example so another really good feature and then once you're happy with your new email template just press save confirm the name and then save save it to a particular folder uh, you can either create your own new folder or just add it to the public emails folder and once you've done that just press save and there you have it you've created your new email template i hope this video has clearly explained how to create and edit email templates in your zoho crm system if you do have any further questions please drop me an email my details are in the description below otherwise thank you very much for watching and i'll see you shortly in the next video thank you and goodbye